his problem class, a cylindrical tank of height equal to twice the diameter of its base can hold 10 liters of water. Another cylindrical container with the same capacity has its height equal to three times the diameter of its base. Find the ratio of the amount of aluminum required for making the two containers to building covers. So let's draw the figure first. We have two cylindrical tanks. Cylindrical tanks are So a cylindrical tank of height equal to twice the diameter of its base. So if it is the diameter of the base, this is the height. Height is twice the diameter. And can hold 10 liters of water. So B1 is 10 liters. Another cylindrical container with the same capacity has its height equal to three times the diameter of its base. So if this is now B2, this is H2. So any problem, height is equal to 3 times the diameter of its base. So it is equal to 3D. So it's place the subscript D1 here plus. So H1 is 2D1. Same capacity. So it's also B2. Then find the ratio of the amount of aluminum required for making the two containers into the covers. What's this? All about plus. Amount of aluminum required for making the two containers including covers. That would be the total surface area, the ratio of TSA1 and TSA. Uh, recall, what's the formula for the total surface area of a cylinder? Okay. So if we unroll the cylinder in the shape of a rectangle for the length of the rectangle that would be the circumference, the width as the height, then you that would be the lateral surface area. Then we include the area of the two bases, so that would be 2B. And what we see, 2 pi r times h plus 2, what is b? Pi R squared. So what is then our TSA1? That's 2 pi R1 H1 plus 2 pi R1 squared. All over what is TSA2? It's 2 pi R2 H2 plus 2 pi R2 squared. Okay? Then, as we know that, D1 is equal to 2R1. So we need to replace H1 here. It's equal to 2D1 by what? 4R1. Hello? Then for H2, is equal to 3D2 where D2 is equal to 2, 3, 2. So, substituting we have 3 times 2, 3, 2 so this is 6 R2 substituting now class in this equation TSA1 over TSA2 is equal to 2 pi R1, what is H1? 4 R1 plus 2 pi R1 squared all over 2 pi R2, what is H2? 6 R2 plus 2 pi R2 squared. Then, 
you may combine these terms 8 pi r1 squared plus 2 pi r1 squared is 10 pi r1 squared. This is 12 pi r2 squared plus 2 pi r2 squared. It would be 14 pi r2 squared. Simplifying, this is 5 r1 squared over 7 r2 squared. What's the relationship of R1 and R2? Because the two cylinders have the same capacity, so we can use that to establish the relationship between R1 and R2. So V1 equals V2. What is V1? The base area, phi R1 squared times the height H1. For V2, the base area, which is phi R2 squared times H2. And again, we replace H1 here by 4R1 and then H2 by 6R2. So, it's 4 pi R1 cubed equals 6 pi R2 cubed. Solving for R1 in terms of R2. We have R1 cube equals 6 pi R2 cube over 4 pi. This is then P over 2 R2 cube. So R1 is the cube root of 3 over 2 R2. We solve it now in this equation class. That is the equation A is a equation B. So TSA1 over TSA2 is equal to 5. What is R1? Cube root of 3 over 2. R2 is squared over 7 R2 is squared. Or this is 5. The cube root of 3 over 2 squared r2 squared over 7 r2 squared this cancels so tsa1 over tsa2 is equal to and the complete for this one class what's the answer mm -hmm. five times the quantity cube root of 3 over 2 squared. That's equal to 0 point 82. That's the ratio of the amount of the aluminum required for making the two containers including the covers.